Hello and welcome back. This video we will see how to access data stored in ADLS container from Databricks. There are multiple ways to connect to storage container. Uh, so the one you can use service principle, storage key or ex shared access signature. But Databricks recommend to use Unity catalog, external credential and external location to access that. The reason is by using external storage and external location, we can control the access. So let's see how to do that by using Unity Catalog Enable Workspace. So first step, let's go ahead and create the resources. I'm going to create a new storage container and uh, access connector for Databricks. So the first step, let me just uh, create an ADLS container. So for that, select storage account. So you have to choose uh, this storage account and uh, uh, whatever the location. Uh, so you can choose the same location and the resource group. I'm using my same resource group and uh, my demo ADLS some random number I can give because this number should be uh, unique. Okay, so if you have a, some, if it's uh, conflicting with already existing name, then you should change this name. So that is fine. I'm not getting any error message here. And uh, standard is okay for us and uh, use this local redundancy. That is fine. And uh, this will support only ADLS. So for that, you have to enable hierarchical namespace. Okay. And Go to the networking, choose the default one for this time and data protection also leaving as default encryption that is fine using as default and tag that is also fine and uh, it will do a basic validation. So once it's uh, fine, you can go ahead and create. So I need to create access connector also. Let me open another window and uh, create access connector for Databricks. So you can reuse the existing but I'm not using that I'm going to create a new access connector. So go to the same resource group and uh, go ahead and create that resource. So for that create option you can choose this and uh, select uh, access connector for Azure Databricks. Use this resource and uh, create. Then uh, whatever the resource group you want, then uh, storage access connector 0 to whatever the name and uh, the region, this use the same region which I have selected for my other resources. So choosing South India and uh, create this access connector. So the access connector is basically a managed identity which can be used for um, authenticating uh, with the storage account. So uh, this is deployed and once this is deployed, this access connector should have a storage blob data contributor access into our ADLS container. Okay. So this is the ADLS storage Okay, and uh, go to the identity and access management console. Then from here, so this is the new storage account which we deployed for this demo. And uh, just uh, adding the permission, use this option, add role assignment. Then uh, you can search this name, storage blob data contributor and uh, search. Okay. Storage blob data contributor permission. Yes. Next. Choose this manage identity. Select members and uh, subscription yes one subscription then access connector for database we have two so this is the one which we have uh, created for this demo zero two then select then review and assign so we have created access connector and uh, storage account and uh, 
have given storage blob data contributor for that and in the same storage account let's go ahead and create a new container okay just write that name my demo 01 okay any name okay so this is the container that we are going to use and then create okay so the container has created okay i'm going to play some sample csv file inside this container so let me go there and upload okay so i have some files i can drag and drop some files i have some file here like movie csv file right this is fine then upload so that's it i have added this file to my demo container inside that so let let's get that uh, path including that container and other details so what we can do is just to go to the endpoint and uh, data lake endpoint so this is the one which we need to choose okay so this is the endpoint and uh, take a notepad and note down that then what is the container name so you can choose that container name also from here containers then this is the container right so so this is the path that we have to use i mean so this is and inside that uh, there is a csv file called uh, movies.csv right so this is the full path of our file and uh, for that access connector so this is the access connector so we just need this resource id of that access connector also okay okay yeah so the access connector resource id also we have copied so the next uh, let's go to this data bricks uh, explorer and what we have to do is from your databricks workspace okay so you can you have to go to this catalog menu so if you minimize this th things okay so if you minimize the delta sharing also so you can see something like uh, external data so under that the storage credential and external location so go to the storage credential so you can see the one storage credential which already exists so this one was created when we enable unity catalog so this is a storage credential for that unity catalogs uh, adls container or adls storage so we are going to create a new credential first so that is the first step we are going to use create a credential and a storage credential name so my demo So whatever the name we can use then uh, what is the access connector id okay so this is the access connector id so you can either use the access connector or managed identity but access connector is recommended so you can add some comment here and advanced option also limit to read only use but i am not limiting to that and then create okay so these two things you need uh, some name and access connector id so this access connector should have storage blob data contributor on that so for this storage credential so we can set permission okay so who can do what so who can use basically we are controlling the usage of this storage credential like if you grant this permission so these are the permission you can set for different users or groups okay so since i'm uh, account admin so i'll have uh, all privileges in by default so this is the storage credential we have created then the next is the external location so this is also meta store default external location so i'm just creating a new external location so my external so before uh, we create uh, this external location let's see uh, whether we are able to access that from our notebook so let's uh, quickly go to the notebook okay so i have not created this external location so park it here so go to this uh, databricks workspace uh, then create a new notebook
then I have to choose the cluster this is the demo cluster which I have already uh, created which is uh, again the unity catalog enabled so what you have to use is dbutils dot fs okay so what I have to use here is uh, I'm just a dbu to have ls means just a listing and trying to list this okay so I can use this one this is something like a abfss then this one and go ahead and execute this cell and see whether we are able to view the container so okay so this is getting failed okay so what you have to do is we since we have not uh, created external location so we are not able to uh, do that so let's go ahead and create a external location so the lo external location is my storage ext iphone 0 to any name you can use okay and storage credential so we have got two storage credential so this is the one which we have created my demo credential 0 1 is fine then the url so what is the url we are going to use here so abfss colon slash slash okay so we don't need to use that file till here okay this is fine so for external location you have to use the container name at followed by that uh, uh, dfs url then abfss so you have to create this that's it okay so once created uh, it will be under here like external location you can see whatever the new external location and here I can give the permission okay to whom I want so what are these are the permission like I can all privileges write and read manage etc I can add to the people then whoever have this privilege only would be able to um, read or write the contents to that container okay so now if I go to go my notebook and execute here okay so again I don't need to use this one so basically it should list this okay now we are getting this file output earlier we got some error message now we got uh, this error message this message I mean so this is the file okay so and if I just use display command here so this will uh, give you a for better formatted output like this okay so it will run and uh, you will get a better formatted way like uh, so this is the file available so if you add more file it will list so this way you can access the file okay this is just a file uh, reading operation uh, maybe I'll we, we can just recreate a data frame so df equal to spark dot read dot okay and uh, let's use this full path So we have got this data frame and uh, whatever the file we are reading and uh, saving into I mean assigning uh, into this data frame df now like uh, if I display this df you can see the contents right so this is how our uh, I mean so I just uh, did a basic uh, read and uh, that um, column validation nothing I have done just simply reading just wanted to show you how to read from this uh, container uh, location okay so the data frame similarly I can uh, write that um, into this same um, look at some other location in the same container like uh, df dot uh, write dot parquet Okay. then I can choose uh, this location but some other folder I can choose 
um, out or something okay so this is something I have uh, used ABFS okay so let's uh, try to do this So this is completed and let's uh, go to this container okay the storage whatever the storage container and see uh, the out has created and the parquet file uh, okay so whatever the, so not the parquet file like uh, yeah this is the parquet file which we, we have created here we, by using unity get log so we should be able to uh, read or write data into adls container so that's it about this demo. Thank you for watching this video. We will see in the next video. Bye.